Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Hello and welcome, I'm Marshall Brain and today's big science question is, how strong is your hair? That's right, this stuff on top of your head. It's just like a piece of string. Have you ever thought about how strong it might be? The cool thing is that we can perform a scientific experiment and we can find out exactly how strong one piece of hair is. Let's start by talking about two fun hair facts. Fun fact number one is that hair is made of keratin, and keratin is really tough stuff. It's the same stuff you make fingernails out of, hooves on horses, horns on rhinoceroses. It's very, very tough stuff. The second fun fact is that hair is incredibly thin. It's only about 100 microns wide, and what that means is that you could take 10 strands of hair and stack them between the millimeter marks on a millimeter ruler. So to perform our experiment today, here's what we've got. We've got a stack of books with a big pencil on it so that we can hang a piece of hair off of it. We've got some scotch tape to secure the piece of hair. We've got some pennies, which we're going to use as the weight. We've got a scale so we can decide how heavy the pennies are. And then we've got a couple of strands of hair, which you're not going to be able to see, but which I can take a close-up picture of for you to look at. Hair is so thin that it's really hard to see it with a video camera. In order to see how strong a piece of hair is, we need a standard unit of weight. We're going to use a penny. You can see that if we put 10 pennies on this scale, that the scale thinks they weigh 25 grams. So that means that one of these pennies weighs 2.5 grams. We'll just tape them on one by one and see how long it takes for the hair to break. So let's go ahead and start our experiment. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a piece of hair, we're going to tape it onto our pencil here, and then we're going to tape one penny onto the piece of hair, and we're going to see if it breaks. If it doesn't break, we're going to tape another penny on, and we're going to keep taping pennies on until it breaks. At whatever number of pennies it breaks at, that's how strong a piece of hair is. So we start by taping the piece of hair onto the pencil, and we make sure that it's nice and firmly taped on there, and then we start by putting one penny on, and the piece of hair is able to handle that no problem. The next thing we do is we stick another penny on there and tape it in place and see if the piece of hair can hold it. No problem there. Now we take the third penny and we tape it on and we see how the piece of hair feels about holding on to three pennies. And it turns out that hair can hold a lot of pennies, so we tape four on, and then five on, and then six and then seven, and it just kind of keeps adding up. We keep taping more and more pennies on there. Twenty-three. There. We finally broke it with 23 pennies and a lot of tape. This is a nice big slug of pennies and tape and it weighs 62 grams. Can you believe that one tiny strand of hair could hold all that weight? You can see that this is a really simple experiment, but there's all kinds of things that you could try on your own. For example, is blonde hair stronger or brown hair? What about straight or curly? What about your hair versus your friend's hair? Who has stronger hair? There's all kinds of things you could try, all kinds of experiments, and that's the cool thing about science. You can try all kinds of different tests and see what happens and learn new things. Have fun performing your own science experiments. Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain.